Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. In the last video, we solved this exact same circuit, um, only we did a lot of math to, to get to the answer. Um, we used the turns ratio and voltage relationship of the ideal transformer, and we also used the, the current and turns ratio relationship um, to do a lot of substituting and you know, plugging in to, to arrive at the answer, which is 25 watts. So in this video, we're going to go over a much simpler way. Um, and for the FE exam, you definitely want to, you know, save as much time as possible. So if you don't need to do all that work, you know, then um, you'd be a lot better off. So in order to solve this one quickly, um, we have to understand that there is a relationship between this RL um, and its reflected portion towards the primary side. So put another way, uh, the impedance of the load reflected back through the transformer is equal to the turns ratio squared times the load itself. So as an equation that means we'll call it um, R reflected or R reflect and that equals to um, that equals to N P over N S which is the turns ratio squared times RL. And we know what the turns ratio is. It's two to one. So this actually ends up equaling um, two squared times RL, which is four times 0 0.25, which equals one ohm. So that is the reflected resistance onto the primary side is equal to one ohm. And now we can get the total impedance being this reflected um, this reflected resistance plus um, the original Z. So it would be this. And then when you add those together and put them into the polar coordinates, you get two angle 45 degrees. And we're going to drop the, the angle of 45 degrees and just call it two ohms. So now you can find the current of the um, of the primary here as simply V over ZT. So that'd be V in over ZT. That's 10 divided by 2. And that gives us 5 amps. So the source is generating or is drawing 5 amps and a power equal to I squared R. which when we do it all out it's going to be 5 squared times the uh, reflection resistance which is equal to 1 with it, which just means it's 5 squared and here we get the same 25 watt answer as before so there you have it the same answer as before done a different way um, a lot less lines a lot less equations um, so hope that helps. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and until then, enjoy engineering. 